Hello friends, welcome to our education channel. In the previous video, we have solved one numerical on the Pelton wheel. Now in this video, we will try to solve another example of the Pelton wheel. Let us take one example. A Pelton wheel has a mean bucket speed of 12 meter per second and is supplied with a rate of 750 liter per second under a head of 35 meter. If the bucket deflects the jet through the angle 160 degree find the power developed by the turbine and its hydraulic efficiency here take coefficient of velocity is 0.98 neglect the friction in the bucket also determine the overall efficiency of the turbine if the mechanical efficiency is 80 percent so let us try to solve this example first we will put the data which is given in the example here bucket speed is 12 meter per second that is u1 u1 equal to 12 meter per second then supplied with a rate of 750 liter per second that is the flow rate q is equal to 750 liter per second but we will convert this liter per second into meter cube per second so it is 0.750 meter cube per second as 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liter so we will get q is equal to 0.750 meter cube per second now the head is given that is 35 meter then angle of deflection the deflect of jet through 160 degree so phi equal to 180 minus 160 will get the phi that is 20 degree then take the coefficient of velocity that is cv 0.98 and here mechanical efficiency mechanical efficiency is 80 percent that is 0.80 and we have to calculate to find the power then hydraulic efficiency and overall efficiency so let us start to solve this example first of all for power we required v so calculate velocity object velocity object v equal to cv into 2gh so cv is 0.98 into 2 into 9.81 into head is 35 so by calculating we will get 25.68 meter per second that is v so from inlet triangle diagram so from inlet velocity diagram this v1 equal to v1 sorry vw1 equal to v1 so vw1 is equal to v1 and that is 25.68 meter per second also vr1 is equal to v1 minus u1 so vr1 is equal to v1 minus u1 so that is v1 is 25.68 minus u1 is 12 so vr1 is 13.68 meter per second now from outlet triangle from outlet triangle Now consider this EHF triangle EHF will get cos phi cos phi equal to cos phi equal to U2 plus VW2 U2 plus VW2 upon hypotenuse that is VR2. So we'll get 
VW2 because for calculating power we required VW1 so VW2 is cos phi into VR2 minus U2 so it is cos 20 phi is 20 into vr2 now here vr1 equal to vr2 as there is no friction so put here vr1 is equal to vr2 as no friction no friction so cos 20 into 13.68 minus u2 is 12 so we'll get vw2 is equal to 0 0.8558 meter per second now calculate first term power power or work done per second work done per second or power is equal to rho q now q is a v so rho a v in bracket v w 1 plus v w 2 into u we have taken q because in the example we have q so p equal to so p equal to rho of water is 1000 into flow rate is 0 0.750 meter cube per second vw1 is 25.68 plus vw2 is 0 0.8558 into u is 12 now this u1 equal to u2 is equal to u so by calculating we will get it 238.82 point eighty two into ten raised to three watt. Now second parameter that is hydraulic efficiency. So hydraulic efficiency equal to we have formula two into V W one plus V W two into U upon V one square. So by putting the values 2 into 2.68 plus 0 0.8558 into 12 upon v1 square that is 25.68 square so by calculating we will get 0 0.9657 so that means efficiency is 96.57 percentage now calculate overall efficiency so overall efficiency means p upon w q into h so power that is 238.82 into 10 raised to 3 upon w means rho g so that is 9.81 into 1000 that is 9810 into q is 0 0.750 into 35 so we'll get overall efficiency that is 92.74 percent so in this way we can easily calculate all parameters related to the pelton wheel i hope that you understand you understood all the procedures for calculating the efficiencies and power. Thank you for watching this video. Be with us. Like, share and subscribe our channel. Share this video with your friends. Thank you very much.